So AppRite's database will no longer look the same. It's absolutely awesome. You're gonna love all the changes in the console, the new look, and all the features that come with it. This is something that I've been pushing since day one at AppRite, and I can't believe it's here. So before we get into this, I wanna quickly recap the last video we posted because that absolutely affects what's gonna happen here. So long story short, we changed our database terminology to follow a more relational database approach. So we had collections, documents, and attributes, and now we're calling them tables, rows, and columns. So based on that, in this UI, we have a database opened, and now we're going to see tables instead of collections. So let's go ahead and go into our post table. So this new UI is supposed to look more like what a database should look like. So we have this grid UI, and in here, if we want to add a new entry here, we can go ahead and click on create row. So it's no longer create document. Now, what's cool about this is now in order to edit or add a row, we no longer have to go into these nested pages and then have to back out of those anytime we we update something, it just slides out and it's right here for us. So let's just say hello world. And when we go ahead and add this, we're going to see this pop up here. Now, what if we want to make an edit here? From here, we can actually just edit in line and just say hello earth. And as we exit this, this will actually save right away and persist in our database. Now, if we want to add a new column, we can just go ahead and click on this or click in the columns tab here. And we'll just go ahead and enter a new key here. So we'll call this title. So let's say every post is going to have a title. We can still set the attribute type here for size. Let's just say 100. And I'm going to go ahead and insert that. So now we're inserting columns instead of attributes. Now, the next thing here is we want to just go ahead and generate some sample data. So I want to show you a few more features. And we're going to have this section here. And it's going to generate data based on my columns. So we'll go ahead and click on generate sample data. And I'll just say, go ahead and add in 15 items. So this is more of a feature to get started just to see how it works. And that just loaded in a bunch of data for us. So from here, I want to show you a few more things. So in here, we can also sort any columns. So we can sort these by numbers, by date, alphabetically. All you have to do is click on the column header. Now we can also swap out certain columns here. So if we want to move our title here, we can swap that out and that'll persist for us here. So that's a lot of flexibility that we get here. If we ever want to edit a column, we can click on update. We can also shift things around here. So if I click on update column, I can change the title and any of these requirements. And if we want to create a new column, I showed you how to do that with this plus icon, but we also have this columns tab here, which allows us to create new columns and modify them. And that pretty much does it for the new UI. So if you've used AppRite's database before, you know what an improvement this is. It's way more intuitive, being able to edit things in line, not have to go through nested pages. The terminology, I think, is going to be a massive improvement. So we're no longer confusing people with documents and collections. And I'm super excited for you all to try this out. So if you've tried it, leave me a comment down in the comment section. I would love to hear your experience.